Mr. Big House is a really homey place to sort of hang out and have some yummy treats. Um, we have lots of people come and just read. We have people come and like gather together and have coffee and tea and sweet stuff. We also have a lot of students come in and grab some treats to take back to their dorm rooms, which is always good. <laughs> We both come up with the recipes. Some of them are sort of family favorites from a long time ago, and then we're always looking at new ideas. And my husband's constantly tweaking things, like I'll come with one thing, and then he'll add seven things to it, and it becomes a new recipe. All of our breakfast items are baked here. Um, so we have chocolate croissants, we have danishes, we have puff pastries filled with uh, fruit and preserves. Uh, but we also uh, bake uh, an array of cookies, um, as well as uh, four different types of brownie, um, and we're, we're offering all the cakes and cupcakes uh, um, that we offer in Oberlin as well. I really don't like bakery cases, and I really wanted it to be like you walked in your grandma's house and she just made all this yummy stuff. Obviously, probably not like this much, but the same idea with cute little cake stands and things under domes. Um, we have the aluminum cookie covers. Um, I wanted it to feel more like that, just like going to someone's home rather than a bakery case. The cupcake flavors change weekly. Um, it's between four and six different flavors of cupcake um, and the cakes as well, they change daily here. Um, and uh, they're usually seasonal flavors. Uh, so popular right now is our, our lemon blueberry cake. Um, we're doing a strawberry lemonade, pretty regular. Uh, lemon Dream um, is a, a very popular cake, uh, as well as our standards like porch cake, uh, German chocolate, uh, triple chocolate, uh, and our chocolate peanut butter cakes are just always a favorite. So. You go into a bakery and they have these yummy cakes, but you know, typically you're not gonna buy the whole cake if it's just you. <laughs> um, so we wanted to do that by the slice so people could, and maybe try more than one. Or like if you like one flavor and your family likes another flavor, you can all get what you like, so. My grandma used to make a yellow cake when I was little with chocolate chips and pecans baked in and chocolate buttercream and caramel and chocolate chips and pecans on top and she made us eat it on the porch. So we just always called it porch cake, and it's because I never thought it would, you know, go over well. And we started making it pretty early on, and it's probably our second top-selling cake. It's yummy and sweet and crunchy and caramely, but um, it's fun. It reminds me of my grandma, and sometimes she would make it without frosting, and we would just have wedges of it. But when she frosted it, we definitely had to eat it outside. Whoopie pies, yeah, that is a huge thing, and we've actually uh, added a few new flavors of those in as well. Uh, a lemon blueberry, a strawberry uh, uh, cream, a strawberry with raspberry buttercream, um, as well as chocolate. Well, the favorite part is always the customers, for sure. I mean, coming up with new ideas and, and experimenting in the kitchen is always fun, but meeting new people and uh, uh, sharing you know, what, what we love uh, with, with new people is, is especially fun. Um, and Worcester's uh, been a great place uh, uh, for us to open.